Let's continue to read Acts chapter 13. Barnabas and Saul sent off. In the church of at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simon called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menean, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So they, uh, so after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. Amen and hallelujah. Bringing past to present. This is one uh, through our spiritual walk with the Lord. <clears throat> Something that is okay to do. When it comes to a walk with the Lord, when it comes to a relationship with the Lord and understanding what it means to do this. I'm going to read this again. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. Fasting. Fasting is of many different expressions. It's of um, one of them is not eating. Um, one of them is not consuming something or doing something uh, with the purpose of understanding that it is a meaningful uh, thing to do for speaking with the Lord, communicating with the Lord in, a relation, in your relationship with the Lord, saying that, Lord, this is so serious that I understand that you provided these things. You provide all. Um, one way to look at it is you provide all in so much so, and I understand that, but I know that what I am trying to ask, I want to do more. And one th way that I can show is by fasting, by uh, showing you how much I need this, how much I I want this in your will and want this in with you, with your acceptance. Um, and it's a spiritual thing. It is... Um, something that is of a spiritual guidance. It is something of spiritual hope, hoping in the Lord. Um, and it's something that not only did they practice in Judaism, but through even today, bringing past to present, it is acceptable to practice on a spiritual sense um, by being guided by the Lord. So I urge you to seek His guidance when you are going to fast or when you if you believe that you need to fast or, it's, or even questioning it. As you can see, uh, as reading it, that yes, even after Jesus uh, died for our sins, people still did fast. And um, so I urge you in, uh, in guidance of the Lord, Seek his, his wisdom as to what, why, how long, etc. for the fasting. Um, and or even if it's needed or even if it's needed, because ne not necessarily if, is it may not may or may not be needed. Um, have I experienced fasting for myself? Yes. When I was early in my walk with the Lord, I didn't understand it. Have I experienced, have I since then grown and understand more of what it entails, what it is truly about in our spiritual walk with the Lord? Yes. And have, have I experienced it? Yes. I urge you to seek the Lord and his guidance for that. Before we go on though, what kind of th uh, thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel? What does it make you think? <clears throat> 